is up, everybody out there in the world of the internet? It is me, your buddy Nessa, and this is Squared Circle Addicts. Now, if you read the title, you're probably thinking to yourself, Nessa, didn't you upload this video earlier? And yes, you're absolutely right. I did upload this video earlier, but upon further observation, I realized that I wasn't happy with this video. I was tired, my hair was a mess, and I thought to myself, how dare you, Nessa? The man deserves better than this. So here I am, take two with my Becky Lynch video. And essentially what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna talk about the man and why I think she is the most important thing right now in professional wrestling. But I want to paraphrase by first saying that I won't lie and I won't say that I am Becky Lynch's biggest fan or that I've been 100% behind Becky Lynch since the beginning or that I'm a Becky Lynch mark because that would be a lie. Because if anybody knows me, they know my number one girl is Bailey, And that has always been me and I have always stood by that out of the four horsewomen. The wrestling version of the Four Horsewomen. Well, I mean, now both versions are in wrestling, so that's up for debate. But for this group, for lack of a better word, my favorite has always been Bailey. So I'm not here to say that I'm Becky Lynch's biggest fan, but I will say this. Becky Lynch is the reason why myself and many others even are interested in professional wrestling, are so invested, and I'll even go a little bit step further and say that Becky Lynch is one of the main reasons why I decided to finally create this YouTube channel. So Becky Lynch, somehow if you end up watching this video because the internet has magic, thank you. Thank you so very much for making me invested into this thing called professional wrestling. And in your words, thank you for making Women's wrestling, the coolest thing on TV. And that sentence alone should help you guys understand why I think it's so important for Becky to be in the spot where she's at right now. You know, a lot of people can go back all the way to NXT from when she was an Irish jig dancer all the way till now being the one, the only, the man, the best thing this company have seen in quite some time. She has come a long way, all the way from being the first ever inaugural SmackDown Women's Championship to ap after losing that, she got relegated to the back of the line and, and were pu was put in feuds with Carmella, tag team with Charlotte, and let's be honest, she was forgotten about a lot of the time. People were like, is Becky Lynch ever gonna get another title reign? And lo and behold, People thought she was going to get it when it was Money in the Bank last year. And every single time Becky climbed up that ladder and reached that briefcase, that crowd went absolutely nutso. Unfortunately, she didn't win the briefcase, but fast forward a little bit later, she finally got her title opportunity at Hell in the Cell. And then she captured the SmackDown Women's Championship for the second time, and then BOOM! Turned on Charlotte Flair, and thus the man was born. And nobody, and myself included, has been able to keep the name Becky Lynch off of their lips. And ladies and gentlemen, whether you love her, whether you hate her, and you're tired of this whole thing, this is why I think she is the most important thing in professional wrestling. Because you had people that were known for MMA journalism, like Ariel Hawani, caring about what the man was doing. You had talk show hosts caring about the what the man was doing. You had things like ESPN caring about what the man was doing. And ladies and gentlemen, she put eyes on WWE like there hasn't been in a long time. Honestly, I love professional wrestling. I love the WWE. I love what they're doing. I love NXT. I love NXT UK. But to be completely honest with you, I haven't been this invested in a storyline, in a character in a while, and, and that's even to, 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 you know, talk about my favorites like Bailey and Alexa Bliss and, and Sasha Banks and Shayna Baszler. Like, not saying that any of those weren't interesting because they were, but this one just, just has me like, man, 
I need to know what happens. I need to I need to make sure that I watch Raw. I need to make sure that I watch SmackDown. I need to go on Twitter and conversate with people and see what people are saying. And I don't know, it's just it's just really interesting because now the talk of the town is, the, the rumor is that the main event of WrestleMania is going to be Ronda Rousey defending her championship against the one, the only, Becky Lynch. And as far as we know, Becky Lynch isn't in the Royal Rumble. As far as we know, she's facing Asuka next Sunday. But everybody knows WWE can change just like that. But the fact of the matter is, right now, even on WWE.com, there's an article up talking about things that they want to see in 2019. And at the very, very top of that list, it is Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch for the championship main eventing WrestleMania. How the hell we're going to get there, I have no idea. I know how I would like it to get there, but maybe we'll save that for another time. But the fact of the matter is, she is being talked about to headline WrestleMania. And as a Ronda Rousey fan, and when I say this, I don't mean to discredit anything that Ronda has done thus far in WWE, because if anybody out there knows me, they know that I am a Ronda Rousey Mark, I am a Ronda Rousey diehard. I have been a fan of hers for the last past six years. But if I'm being honest, all this gener like this heat that or this fire, if you will, that Becky has been generating, I thought for sure it would be Ronda's. But no, it isn't Ronda's, or as Becky would like to say, it isn't Ronnie's. It's Becky's. It's the man's. You go on Twitter and you can't help but be captivated by the things that she says on Twitter. She makes people care. She makes people want to be invested. And like I said, whether you love her or whether you hate her, that is what she's doing. Whether or not you want to see Ronda Rousey snap her arm in half or if you want to see Becky Lynch snap Ronda Rousey's arm in half. Whichever side of the coin you are on, the point is that you care. You care about this. She's main evented TLC. She's main evented Evolution. Half of her matches that she's had this year were considered matches of the year candidates on WWE.com and on magazines alike like Pro Wrestling Insider. Let alone her meet and greet for Royal Rumble access this next weekend sold out in 90 seconds. Not only that, but her merch has to keep continuously being restocked and restocked and restocked. People like Stone Cold Steve Austin, people like Mick Foley, people like Jim Roth, people like Edge and Christian, amongst many others in the wrestling world, has given the man praises and have even said that right now she is the best thing in professional wrestling. How can you look at all these comments and deny it? If you're still denying it, if you're still sitting there and saying that you are not interested when Becky Lynch steps into the squared circle or when she cuts a promo or when she's on Twitter, either one, you're lying, or two, you're just hating. I got in a debate with a Twitter fan, a wrestling fan on Twitter the other day about how they're mad because Becky Lynch has been getting everything. And I'm like, that's not the point. The point is that she is the face for this this push and this face for, for the fact that women could quite possibly main event WrestleMania. There was a time in my life where I remember that women didn't even have a freaking match on the card at WrestleMania. And if they did, guess what happened to it? It got scrapped last second. But guess what? Now we're talking about the main event thing? Are you serious? Again, with Becky Lynch, she's the type of woman that can get her nose broken, literally, and still show up and still want to fight. I can guarantee you that the people in the back and the higher ups had to pull teeth for her to be like, no, I'm not going to fight Ronda, or you can't make me not fight Ronda. I'm pretty damn sure she wanted to wrestle, but obviously the medical staff wouldn't let her do it. And I really do think we are going to see this at WrestleMania. So Becky having her nose broken by one irresponsible Nia Jax was quite possibly the best thing that could happen to her because now this woman is going to main event WrestleMania. Whether or not she wins or loses, honestly, I don't think that matters. And I know a lot of people are like, what do you mean it doesn't matter? And the reason why I'm saying that is because both Ronda and Becky Lynch are huge stars. If Becky goes over and she beats Ronda Rousey, she beat a former MMA star, the baddest woman on the planet, she beat Ronda freaking Rousey. But then if Ronda Rousey beats Becky Lynch, 
then she derailed the hype train. She put an end to the man. Either way, it's a huge win. I know that it will upset some people depending on which way it goes, but either way you look at it, this match is the match. This match is the match that everyone has been talking about since Becky Lynch invaded Raw with the rest of the SmackDown Women's Division. And now, we're finally going to see it. We're probably finally going to see it. And on WrestleMania, no less. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. I, I can't, for the life of me, fathom people that are not behind this. This is incredible. This is, this is something that I've wanted as a, as a woman myself. I've wanted for the women for the longest time. And to be completely honest with you, I never thought we would live to see it happen. But here we are. And you know what? I'm so damn happy that it's Rebecca Quinn leading the charge. Yes, I broke the fourth wall. Yes, I used her real name. Sue me. But the girl deserves all the credit in the world. Deserves all the accolades in the world. Deserves all the awards in the world. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Like, it's just something that that's so special. And even in her promo with, with John Cena on the last SmackDown of 2018, where she said that she wasn't just looking to overthrow Charlotte, she was looking to overthrow him, and then she went on to say that John Cena used to be what this business personified, but now it was, and she said, if anybody is going to fill your shoes by the sounds of these people, there is no other person to do that than me. And you know what? Again, I can't say I disagree. In John Cena's backstage segment, he even said, he looked at Becky and said, it is yours to lose. It is yours to take, and it is yours to lose. And for me... I took that as him handing her the torch. I know a lot of people say that he handed it to Roman Reigns, but by the looks of everything that he said in that interview and previous interviews, he believes that the torch should be with Becky Lynch. And everybody knows that John Cena has seniority in the WWE, and he's been there for years, and at this point, he can pretty much work with whoever the hell he wants. And the first night we see him back, who does he work with? The man, Becky Lynch. If that's not saying something... I don't know what is. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than I'm just excited for, like I said, what Becky has been able to do, the attention that she has brought to professional wrestling, the legitimacy that she's brought to professional wrestling. There are people that used to hate professional wrestling that are, guess what, they're watching it now. And why? It's because of Becky Lynch. So whether you love her or you hate her, you have to give her credit where the credit is due. And you have to thank her, especially if you're like me and have been a women's wrestling diehard for the longest time. Because let's be honest, yes, I get it. There are other promotions out there that highlight women's wrestling. But for a long time, WWE didn't do that. And I'm not saying that Becky was the only one responsible. But you cannot just look at the bigger picture and not mention Becky Lynch. So, I mean... I don't know. Like I said, Becky, if you somehow stumble upon this video, thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for making a kid like me be so hyped up about professional wrestling. And like I said, it was one of the main reasons why I decided to do this YouTube channel because I was like, there is so much good stuff happening right now. How could I not capitalize on it? So guys, let me know. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think Becky Lynch is indeed the man of the WWE of professional wrestling? Or do you think it's just all talk and she's believing in her own hype? Let me know in the comment below. You guys already know where I stand. So if you disagree, I promise I won't chew, chew you out. I might look at you a little bit sideways, but other than that, you're fine. And in the meantime, if you would like to see everything else that I'm talking about, as it pertains to professional wrestling and you want to have a nice little discussion with yours truly, please be sure to follow me at GreatLove91 on Twitter. It's the same thing on Instagram. Again, that's at GreatLove91 on Twitter and Instagram. And until then, I will catch you guys next time with another video on Monday, which is two days from now. And yeah, you guys take care, stay safe, but most importantly, Stay addicted to the squared circle. Later, guys.